Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am here with my friend Diana, aka a mannequin, and I'm gonna show you how I do flat iron curls. So, um, yeah, let's do this. In this tutorial, I am using the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Ultra Thin Straightening Iron and the Amica Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray, the Kenra Perfect Medium Spray, and the Kenra Blow Dry Spray. So with flat iron curls, the thinner sections you take, the easier it is because you're going kind of fast through your passes with the flat iron, and so the thinner it is, the more it will be heated up throughout the whole section. So I like to take thin sections when I'm doing flat iron curls so that I can ensure that the whole piece that I'm doing gets heated up all the way and actually turns into a curl. Because a lot of the times, if you've ever tried flat iron curls, if you do it too thick, the middle part of that section, so say I went in to flat iron curl this, the middle part of this section wouldn't feel the heat because you're going, you're like sliding it through the hair so it doesn't heat up and actually curl. And then you have to go over that section again and then sometimes it just messes it up. So I like to take thin sections. So let's do this. So I'm gonna section her hair just with my fingers. Take at the nape of the neck and then I'm gonna clip the rest of the hair out of my way. I'm gonna prep the hair with this Kenra blow dry spray. I like to use this as a heat protectant with my flat iron curls because it gives the hair a little bit of a slip so the flat iron can just glide right through instead of making it like kinky and sticky. Have you ever seen your mother when you were a child get scissors and just on a ribbon and then it curls the ribbon? It's kind of the same technique. A lot of people get confused when doing flat iron curls because they think they have to keep turning the flat iron, which that's not the case. You're just putting a bend in the hair, gliding the flat iron through, and that's what creates the curl. So you don't have to keep curling the flat iron and getting everything tangled and it's not going through. You get the flat iron, you're gonna clamp it onto the strands of hairs, and you're gonna twist it like one full rotation like that. And you're going to hold the end of the hair and pull it through. So you're making a curl like that. Did that make any sense at all? Do you understand the analogy of like a ribbon being curled? You didn't have to like curl the scissors around the ribbon forever, but you just flip the hair one rotation and you pull it down. Like, oops, like so. <laughs> Feel like my leg in there, I had to hold the stand better. <laughs> so I did these two this way. I'm gonna do the next two this way so they kind of aren't all the same. So full rotation all the way down and I hold the ends of the hair with my hand just so they don't slip out of where I want it to go. Ta-da! Do it again. So you want even tension throughout. but you don't have to like squeeze the flat iron so hard. I don't know. I used to have issues where I would like squeeze it too hard and then it would like kink as I'm going down the strand of hair and then it would show lots of little kinks, but that's not the case for this. So this first layer is done. 
I'm gonna spray it with the Kenra Perfect Medium Spray while they set and cool. And then I'm just gonna do the rest of the hair like that. So the slower that you go, the tighter the curl will be, in a sense. So if you go slow, you're heating up each portion more. Then if you go super fast, you kind of just get loose curly waves. But I'm trying to kind of make them a little bit tight. And you see, sometimes I hold my flat iron upside down like this, or I do it the other way, literally. I can't figure out why I do that, so it doesn't matter which way, just whatever's easiest for you. When I'm, when I'm doing clients, I'll usually hold it upside down like that. I don't know, it just seems to glide better, but when I'm doing it on myself, I hold it like this way, so I don't know why I switch it up sometimes. It creates the same curl, so it doesn't really matter. But flat iron curls, I feel like they are great for people who have naturally curly hair, naturally frizzy hair that want curls in their hair because you're flat ironing it and curling it, you get that frizz done. You're, you're grabbing those hairs and making it smooth. For the rest of this tutorial, I just sped it up because it's literally just doing the same thing over and over again, and I figured that would be a pretty boring thing for you to watch for like 20 minutes, so enjoy the sped up of me flat ironing. And one thing I wanted to note is I do, if you notice, after I pull the flat iron through the curl, I use my fingers and kind of encourage it to curl so that when it's cooling, it stays where I want it to so that's why I kind of twist it with my fingers after but anyways enjoy the rest of this tutorial Alright, and that is how I like to do flat iron curls. I love flat iron curls because it helps it give like lots and lots of texture because there's so many curls and it kind of like elongates the curls so they're not so big but they're kind of like long and, and springy if that makes sense. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or let me know also if there's anything else you'd like to see. I upload new videos every Monday, so go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. 
And you can follow me at Mrs. Kimmy Fowler on Instagram so you can see more tips and tricks and things like that. I also show a little bit of what I eat in a day and like exercises and things like that. So go ahead and give that a follow as well. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.